the magistrates expect it. Go see for yourself. Everyone's been talking about it. Every guess is important to Jinjo. Ew. First time seeing such a crowd in front of the city hall. I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non-staff personnel here before. Most of the people here have applied for an audience, but I heard they've all been turned down. So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree, though. So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our magistrate's description. Sure it can. Have you thought of something, Rover? You mean... I can't really keep up with your thoughts. But I think a meeting with a magistrate wouldn't hurt. Same here. Anywhere our magistrate's the best lead we have for now. No matter what she has in store for Rover. What do you think, Rover? Are you in a hurry to recover your memories? In that case, how about meeting with the magistrate first? She may have the answers you'll look We're not allowed to go with you. Shizia and I will be right outside the city hall. We'll be waiting for you. That's right. We're not going anywhere. Just give us a shout if anything goes down. Wait, no, we won't be able to hear you. Plus, they've got this rule about not yelling inside the city hall. You mean I'm not the VIP the magistrate's expecting? Go see for yourself. Everyone's been talking. Follow me. Kindly have a seat. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. up with her eye. <clears throat> Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. <coughs> I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Madame Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time.
Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you... You are truly exceptional. Regarding that... My eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You. You share the same frequency with Madam Magistrate. Apologies. My description was not accurate. Both you and Madam Magistrate look undistorted to me. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. They all look different. May I have your terminal for a moment? Yes, it's the gourd on your waist. The device every resonator carries. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now, all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. Yes, including the city hall. You have full access to its facilities. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinjo? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you, in advance, here in the City Hall. I will lead you to your room if you need. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Chatterbox? So Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. Mm. <laughs> it sure is. Trisia, the increasing tacit fields, uncannily powerful tacit discords, and now our magistrate's absence. Plus the mysterious rover. I'm afraid. So, Madam Magistrate is meeting you in three days, and she left these tokens. Do you have any plans, Rover? Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? So, what's so special about them? Sundial. It is a horological device that tells time by using sunlight's direction. Sundials in Huanglong usually have marked lines for the 12 shichuns in a day, and every shichun is two hours long, with some showing seasons or months. The design of this sundial looks a bit unusual, though. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the 12 earthly branches drawn on the outer ring of its surface. 
and its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. They are believed to protect people from all four directions under heaven. Generally, the Teal Long represents the east. The White Tiger stands for the west. The Vermilion Bird stands for the south. And finally, we have the Black Tortoise for the north. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But how can it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. A candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid. I think they were called sugar pearls, but I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Went on a trend, maybe. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the taste. It was so sweet. I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes, the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. But what does it mean as a token? The color of this leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what tree it is. I think I can feel something from it. Hmm. Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. This is... Um, magazines are not native to Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more magazines being sold at the nearby markets. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still. So Chizia and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. Oh, right. Baja's still waiting for us at the Academy. There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's... I just installed some apps for you. Please try looking... Open the util. The grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover. Wait a sec, someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry, it's all right. I'll be right there. Duty calls. Oops, almost forgot. 
Can't be late. Sorry, Rover, Yang Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Stop! Stop! Don't call me that. Anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Sure. Go do your thing. Don't worry. I'm staying with him. Rover, let's go inside. She hasn't replied to my message. She's probably busy in her lab. Over there must be Mr. Mortify from the Department of Safety. Baiju once mentioned him before. He might be able to help us get in touch with Baiju, but, um, it seems we've caught him at a bad time. Anyway, let's try asking him, shall we? What? You need something? Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baiju, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baiju should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Washu Academy a few years ago. I heard his talent is truly impressive. People say he's a bit scary at first glance, but he's actually quite kind-hearted once you get to know him. Shizya told me he's quite popular with the kids. Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall? What do you think, Baiju? Hmm. I have a hypothesis about the Sugar Pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies-related branches. Indeed. One moment, please. Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room. I don't see anything special with these items. Speaking of the sugar pearl, you all remember eating sugar pearls like this when you were kids? Well, I don't think I've ever had anything like this in my childhood. No, I'm from the New Federation. You mean the sugar pearl might be unique to Huang Long? I remember a nurse lady giving me a candy like that. So, sugar pearls like this were distributed at hospitals? The sugar pearl might be a type of medicine. Its sweet taste would have made it more palatable to children. Miss Baija, as a Huang Long local working at the academy, I suppose you already had an idea about what it is? I do have my theory as to what it is, but it still needs verification. I would second it. Let's find out through actual testing, then. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the Academy, Rover? Sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. I have the equipment ready. 
I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? Hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless's frequency energy was consumed by your body leaving no trace behind, but how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. I can't say without sufficient data. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or... a creature hiding inside your body. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. This is the Academy's simulated training ground. Don't worry, Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. Yotan had previously detected, your bodily functions are in good condition, and you seem entirely unaffected by the crownless's energy. Now, we will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing. energy. So it was not your resonance ability either. Hmm. I suppose we'll do another round of any test of the We have gathered all the data we need. The test is ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? The comm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? I'm back to the same spot again. And this... moon... What is happening? Are those... tacit discords?
goodness! You're awake, Baiji. What happened just now? The connection was suddenly cut off. Rover, do you still remember what you saw? Can you give us some more details? A giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Sonorosphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonorosphere. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Sonorosphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation. And they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated Sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where this encounter will take us. Ensure your safety. Here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify. Can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scanned it, and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. Automata mechanics isn't my field of study. I specialize in developing tacitite weapons, but the foundational theories behind these applied technologies are quite similar. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. No need to ask him. I can help you with this. I just need some time to think it over. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Mm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've... Over. Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? 
An amiable person, isn't he? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling. It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe, Rover. Let's come back later, shall we? Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed. You just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll drop a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Zhang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. It's a minefield of clutter and chaos. A murky swamp within the academy walls, as vile and perilous as some primeval forest before the lament. Any civilized human would find it impossible to stand. I see. Shall we go and retrieve the parts now, Rover? Chill. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty chill. Do you like Weathering Waves games? Yeah, I do like it. The game, man. I like it. It's fun. I'm actually so uh, into it. I don't. I didn't see the the chat. I mentally prepared myself for the worst, but this place looks. Much better than Mr. Mortify's description. Though it is a bit hard to figure out where we should start. This should be it. That's quite a box full. Let's go back and show it to Mr. Mortify? We found the parts. Good. Bring it to me. The test results are in. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources. But they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. 
This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament, including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena. And the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20 year old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. Adding some stuff to my channel. What do you mean? What kind of stuff? The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, the discs are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. The earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing. Now, what kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huanglong's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives, namely the grand libraries. Exactly. Languages may evolve, names may change, but time remains constant. It's an elegant system indeed. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner too. on the way shelf. Mao Cheng Si Wu Huh. A 
If I remember correctly, Zhenzhou was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. The Zhenzhou City Hall and Huashu Academy uh, were built in the anything. same Thanks. year. Thanks for offering. The saying. Gorges of Spirits yeah. battle sparked and the formidable tacit discord described here. Hmm. Rover, about the sugar pearl. Life has never been easy after the lament, but I still remember that sweetness from my childhood. The battle against that epidemic in Jinzhou was grueling. Once infected, children either died or suffered lifelong disabilities, resonators or not. With tacit discords ravaging Jinzhou and severing all communication with other cities, Desperation ran high. Words are not enough to convey how desperate people must have felt. They resorted to self-experimentation with a newly developed vaccine, risking everything for a chance. If they failed... We owe our presence here to those who came before us. It's important to remember their sacrifices. If the sugar pearl points to the information and reports we have just read, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Is it related to your past? Or is it... Hmm. Are you saying that the information contained in the sugar pearl doesn't directly point to your identity? Rover, about the sugar pearl, what do you think, Rover? Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. Our clues point to the Sugar Pearl as a key in solving the Sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets, and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The Magistrate had information to share, while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me and what I want to ask her. Making it seem like she is complicating matters, or maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle, instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to In other words, there are people who need to be misled, and they may obtain these tokens. It seems there may be hidden dangers lurking in Jinjo. Mm. If it were you, Yang Ying, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry as ever? Baiju said he is in great health. No issues to report. We made some progress in investigating the tokens, too. Ah, nothing special. A typical patrol. Well, Uncle Chang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chempy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by. So I went there to calm them down. I received a report about someone going missing. I just logged the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, 
But the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. You betcha. All right, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panpois restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there or be square. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? Talk about hospitality. Boy, I wonder what it's like to live in the city hall. All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow. Finally, the time to switch rounds are starting to Mrs. Pamela, good morning. Three bowls of extra spicy noodles, please. What did I tell ya? Nothing beats a bowl of spicy noodles in the morning. What do you say, Rover? Looks like Bijer's locked herself in the lab again. Hasn't left since yesterday. Bet we won't see her till she's done with her research. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure him with just a few tucks of the rope. I bet every researcher will come running at you with Bijer leading the pack. Hook, line, and sinker. By the way, now that we've figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, all that's left is that weird leaf and run-of-the-mill mangosteen, right? So it only took us one trip to the Academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madam Magistrate was gonna make it easy for us to begin with. What's our next plan of action, Rover? As for the mangosteen, we got people selling these at the market nearby. We might find some clues. Mangosteens are not from Jinjo. These fruits are usually brought in by boat. Do you think the token is guiding us outside the city? An ocean of stars dark-haired girl, an inverted etheric sea, and the resonance cord flowing from your tacit mark. And you said it was flowing in a certain direction, pointing to the gorgeous of spirits on the Norfolk Baron. Mm. You've never mentioned this before. The etheric sea and resonance cords in your dreams are real, possibly leading to the gorgeous of spirits that perhaps it was more than just a dream. That girl might be the key to recovering your memories. Madam Magistrate's information aside, it seems to me your dream points toward the Norfolk Baron. It's a site of the Thrinodian War and the source of all TD outbreaks. The Midnight Ranger's frontline space is 
stationed there as well. It's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city. My shift's coming up. Protect Rover well, and shoot me a message if you need anything, all right, Yang Yang? I believe in you, without a doubt. A weapon? Oh, I'd like a weapon. Make the fire of Voyager, what the fuck? What is that? Is it a weapon? Rectifier. Sword. Training sword. Resonators can boost our combat abilities with special items. Our Echoes can use them too. If you feel like it, head to Instructor Yan at the training camp for extra practice and to get these enhancement items. some minutes uh yeah i'm gonna take a break and i'll be back see you guys in a bit thanks for the follows by the way <laughs> 